There are four primary techniques or gears in classic skiing, and each is used in different situations. This video is focused on the modern techniques of classic skiing for use on groomed trails. We won't talk about techniques for classic ski touring off of groomed trails. Classic striding, sometimes called diagonal stride, is the traditional and stereotypical classic technique. Striding is like a low to medium gear in a car or bike, good for starting from a standstill, climbing up moderate hills, or when the snow is slow or deep. Striding is powerful, but is inefficient at the higher speeds typical on gradual uphills, flats, and downhills. Striding is also used for easy, relaxed classic skiing on flat terrain, and is the first technique learned by beginners. In spite of this, striding uphill is deceptively difficult and requires exquisite balance and excellent weight transfer. It's one of the hardest and most subtle Nordic ski techniques to master, skate or classic. When striding, you push with one pole and drive your body forward to glide on a single ski, bringing your opposite pole forward at the same time, left arm with the right leg or right arm with left leg. The important thing is that your arm swings forward in tandem with your body driving forward. The forward motion of your body should come from thrusting your hip and knee forward while pressing downward with the other foot. Propulsion does not come from swinging or kicking your leg and foot forward. When striding, you're never standing with weight on both skis. You are fully balanced and gliding forward on one ski, then drive your body forward onto the other to glide, and so on. It's easier to stride in well-established classic tracks, but striding out of the tracks on a groomed surface is excellent practice for balance and weight transfer. Machine set tracks are also often wider than is comfortable for striding, especially for people of smaller stature. It's totally fine to stride outside of the tracks. Getting good grip with your skis can be difficult in icy tracks, wet snow, or on a steep uphill. If you start slipping, first increase the tempo at which you stride and take shorter steps. When even a fast stride becomes too difficult, consider switching to a herringbone or running herringbone technique, which we'll cover in a different video.